Okay, good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Back to Yeshiva YouTube, just half it. We'll do just half it at Eo Ben Sion today in one in one share today. Um, what time is it now? It's uh, around 9.15 in the morning over here. Um, I have to leave soon, so I'm going to try to do it quick. I'm jumping back in. It's been a long break. Um, 60 days approximately, a little more than 60 days since I picked up a Gemara. Um, it's hard to go without learning. I did it. I survived. It's like being in the desert without water, to be honest with you. The Gemara says going 40 days without water is almost a camel. I can only go 40 days without water. Ben Sion Lang <laughs> went 65 days without water. Um, of course, I did intersperse some words of the Talmud, so it made up for it. Let's get into the Mishnah. I'll, I want to do a little bit of short jump it right back in Salma Khamid Bay is sixty B on the bottom. This is a Manashi Ashley base core off towards the bottom of sixty B sixty B four in the art scroll. <coughs> Sorry, sixty B three on the bottom of the art scroll. Manashi Ashley base core off our Kudash is He says um, to a woman, I'm gonna become engaged to you and he promises instead of giving her a ring under the under the chupa, under the can the bridal canopy, he's gonna give her some land. Some land to build a house, um, or a property, or a house, right? Women want money. It's a legitimate concern of women. They want money. They want to be financially secure. They want to have a house. Harizim It works. Viesh, though. It only works as provided that he has that house. If he says, I'm going to be kaddish to you on condition that I have a house in a certain city that she wants to live in, if he has, she has... If he has in that place, it's a good kiddushin. And if it's not like what she wanted, that's not good enough. Because that's what she wanted. Let's say he doesn't have the house right now. He doesn't have a plot of land right now. But he promises to her that in a year from now, he'll have that. So, and if they got mikudeshes, they got married after that. Or they even got married before that, as long as by the time that... Uh, the time came, the year came from now. He had the house. He's able to show it to her. She's Mikudashas. In here, Babika and in Mikudashas. However, if he just says, I'm going to give you a house, and then he shows her a house in a place which is a place where not many people live. It's in the suburbs, the Bika. Uh, not where she, most people would want to live. Most people would rather live in the city. It's not a good condition. The Gemara says, The Gemara says, Why does it have to be that he sure he has to show her a property. He says, "I'm got, I'm cottage to you. I'm gonna become engaged to you by giving you a house. We're gonna have a house when we get married. Maybe he has one. Maybe the kedushin works. Maybe he has one. Why do you have to check into it?" The ode. Not only that, Tanya of a brisa says, "Chayshin and Shemay Yishlo." It's the brisa which says that we we assume that he might have one. We don't have to check into it. Meaning. Theoretically, even if he doesn't have one, even if we could prove in all his bank accounts and all his public records he has no house, for some reason this price seems to say it would be a kedusha. The Gemara says lokasha, hab kedusha vada, hab kedusha yisafek. There's two different types of kedusha. There's a kedusha which is a, a definite kedusha, a kedusha vada, and there's a kedusha which is a kedusha yisafek. <coughs> kedusha yisafek, we'll see in a second. I'll try to explain the difference between kedusha vada and kedusha yisafek. That'll be that even with Ben Steele part of this year. Let's just continue till the end of. This uh, paragraph. So the question is, "Lamu l'misna gabe arav, lamu l'misna gabe zuzi." We had, I believe, earlier. I don't, I'm not I remember from my, my previous time learning this at Kedusha. The Gemara talked about he's mekadesh a woman. He promised her to give her a certain amount of money. Instead of giving her the house, he gives her a certain amount of money, a certain amount of money in the bank account. Why is that to say both a promise about money and both a promise about about a property? Sricha. The Gemara says you need both cases. The Yashmi inan gabe zuzi. We just said by money, Mishum Davidi Inchi the Mitzni. Because people are private with their money, right? They have private bank accounts. It's very easy to make your, your bank accounts private. Avara, Ema, Ida Isle, Ara, Kala Isle. Right? By land, you might think what? You might think that property, there's public records, right? And for sure, what? For sure, if he, it's not on public record. Right? And it's not a good condition. No, people could actually uh, hide their properties. And therefore, if he's able to show her a property, it would be a good condition. 
Just like if he promises a certain amount of money and then he shows her a private bank account, it would be a good condition. We're going to stop over here. It's obviously a short, uh, just daffin. But we're also going to include Ingev Ben Sion today. Um, Ingev Ben Sion will discuss the difference between the Kedusha Vada and Kedusha Suffolk, which I believe in the Sechus Kedusha, the Gemara makes this distinction numerous times. And I think it's really important to understand a woman's mindset when she wants to get married to a man. Um, women want money. They want property. They don't want it to be rich necessarily. They do want glamour in life. Of course they want glamour. Who doesn't want glamour in life? Men want glamour, women want glamour even more. But they want to be financially secure. They want their needs to take, taken care of. <clears throat> and they want a man to make sure that their needs will be taken care of. And it's not that important to a woman right now that the man is uber, uber rich. She wants to have the rich life and she wants to have the glamour. But more important to her is that the man is a strong man and is financially secure and will be able to provide for her, will be able to provide for her, not necessarily right now, but will be able in the future to provide for her. And sometimes it's even more exciting if a man could build up a business and could take her along for the ride with him, build up that business, do it together, a partnership almost, and they build up the business together and he becomes uber successful with her help and it's fun. And it's a, it's a joy ride, and it's glamour at the same time. Um, and I think that's the difference between Kedusha Vada and Kedusha Suffolk. Kedusha Vada is talking about a Kedusha with the type of person, a man who's a financially secure man, not secure in terms of his assets at this current moment, but he's a strong man, and he will make sure he's un unequivocal in his actions, in his words, in his mind. And whatever he says he has to do, he will do. He will accomplish. And that's just the facts of life. People who have their mind set on a goal, they usually will accomplish what they try to do. So that's basically the difference. Kedusha Vada is somebody who's secure, who's financially secure in his plan. And Kedusha Suffolk is someone who's not. And therefore a woman, when she's getting married to a man who is a strong man, a financially secure man, even if he doesn't presently have land, and maybe he promises her land and he doesn't have it, or right, we don't have to. We don't have to look into it. We don't have to. Even if he doesn't have the land, she's not intent on having the land right now. As long as there's a possibility, even she, she is part of Chayshin. And the woman herself assumes that it will happen in the future, and therefore she agrees to go through with the betrothal to get engaged to this man on condition, even if he doesn't have it right now, and even if he doesn't have it in the next five years. But she's marrying the man. She's not marrying the money. Hope you enjoyed today's lecture. See you in the next one.